Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do the Celtic cross with the astrology elements here. So let's get to it. Let's get your sun, how you see yourself here, your sun sign here. How you see yourself. Oh, a lot came out for you, Sagittarius. Okay, you may have had some anxiety here. Maybe having to do with walking away from somebody here. You're you're seeing yourself as a wounded warrior, though. Like I feel more like, mm, yeah, there was some type of deception here. You may have found out later after you walked away from this person, you may have been quite intuitive to know yourself. But I feel like you don't look at yourself as a wounded warrior. You might look at yourself more like a survivor. And I feel like that because with the Nine of Wands, this is somebody that doesn't give up. No matter what they've been through, they keep pushing forward. And looks like you had Ten Swords coming in for you where... Whoever this was, you could be this king of pentacles here. And you had to, you somebody was putting you through some anxiety here. It could be a king of pentacles that did this to you, or this could be you. So take it how it resonates for you. But whatever was done to you, you found out after you walked away. There's too much drama, too much stress, too much anxiety here. They made you feel a certain type of way about yourself, and I feel like you ended that. And this, you're seeing yourself as surviving this. And as a survival, survivalist, you, you, you made it through, whatever this was. And I feel like you, you're proud of yourself for having the courage to walk away and to keep moving forward what's your moon your emotions okay wow wow okay so with the uh, let's just touch on this king of pentacles here now with the king of pentacles this is somebody that has abundance um and discipline ambition is a provider okay and your emotions here is showing the Ten of Pentacles, family wealth. And you may have been like the life of the party here. You may have been somebody that when when there was occasions you you were you were a lot of fun to be around. A lot of people enjoyed your company. These are your emotions and this is how you're coming out here. You're looking at maybe even creating some type of legacy or dynasty that you're looking at. These are your emotions in within, and this is what's in your heart. I feel like you want to have some type of wealth where you can celebrate and not worry about money. You made it through something, though. You're a survivor. What's your rising? This could be an awakening as well, but I kind of feel like it may have been a tough lesson. And sometimes life lessons can be very devastating, but that is the best way of learning. I mean, sometimes it doesn't make sense of what the lesson is, but in some ways I feel like you're going to know what this was, okay? What's what is it people see how they see you so your rising sign how others see you how they view you oh they look at you like um balanced you could be balanced you you could have libra in your chart where you're all about justice you could be very um you could even be like a policeman or something along those lines you're very cooperative, a team player here. So I feel like people see you as, 
I kind of feel like like um like a straight shooter, man. Like you are you're all about doing the right thing, okay? Cooperating, team player. I feel like you may even do for others. Even if you don't aren't being asked to do anything, you still go out of your way to help others. Let's look at your Mercury. How do you think? <laughs> How do you think? Wow, lots of... Huh. Okay. Aha. <laughs> okay, so you may have been hurt in the past here. You may have found like you had to retreat from something here. But it looks like there might be a blessing come in, something even financial for you with the Ace of Pentacles here. Something new, something I feel like having to do with abundance, some resources. This may even have been something you manifested here, okay? This is how you're thinking. You're looking at how many people hurt you, heartbreak, with the Three of Swords, right? So you may even have felt some emotional pain here, betrayal or hurt. And this may have been somebody from your past with the Six of Cups here. And with the Five of Swords, this may have been pretty hostile to you, this person, or this is how you're thinking about this person. But there's a, a new beginning here, or some type of blessing coming in for you. So this is this is beautiful. This is what you're thinking. So you might even know that this is coming. You may try to be a good person all the way around and maybe you'd get really good blessings. What's your Chiron? How you heal? Oh, wow. You take the leap of faith on healing here and you're showing up as the Empress. So you may have healed a lot of, uh, of things in your life that <laughs> looks like you may have gone through a lot of lessons here. I mean, if you look at all the swords here, ten of swords, so and then the five of swords, the three of swords, the eight of swords. So you've had a lot of things happen to you or people that have said crappy things to you, Sagittarius. And I feel like this is something that you have completely healed with the with the fool, or you, maybe you felt like a fool, but you're showing up as the empress. So I feel like you've mastered all of this because you have to be all four of the queens to have mastered to become the empress. So... This means you're like nurturing and practical and reliable. You're intelligent, you're powerful and independent. You're confident, determined, and optimistic. I feel like you're emotionally connected, intuitive, and compassionate. So you're all of the four queens, all rolled up into one. And I feel like even if you did feel like a fool, I feel like you're taking that leap of faith to change all of that. This is something where you, you've done the work, you've healed, like you've, you don't, you've, <laughs> you've mastered whatever you've gone through. Let's see here. Let's look at your Venus. What is your love? How do you love here? Okay, you're hanging on to something here with the Four of Pentacles. And you're satisfied about something where there's some wish fulfillment you're holding on to here. Okay, so... With the Nine of Cups, I mean, that's generally contentment, wish fulfillment, sense of well-being, achievement. And with the Four of Pentacles, this is kind of like hanging on to something. This could mean saving. Maybe you're 
Maybe you're fixated on wealth right now instead of love. You might be satisfied with just saving your money right now. You might not even be looking for love at this point. Or you could be hanging on to somebody that you felt was a wish fulfillment. Take it how it resonates for you. Let's get one more card for love, please. The Venus. Oh, the devil. Okay, very desirable. You might have a bit of Capricorn in your chart where you have a lot of desire. You're kind of like that hands-on kind of person. <laughs> you, your love um, language is kind of hands-on, um, you like to touchy-feely. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, a lot of desire and passion, too. You might be very passionate when it comes to pleasure, or you may even be kind of possessive over your person. Hmm. <laughs> let's move on to Mars how you deal with life how are you dealing with life okay you're waiting for something you might be seen as a dreamer here or you might be patient waiting for your ships to come in ah, you're waiting for an offer perhaps um, this is slow and steady wins the race with the knight of pentacles so this is somebody this is something to do. You, I feel like you take your time, uh, think things through here. Oh, especially when it comes to matters of love with the two of cups here. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you work hard when it comes to love. You try to work shit out here. You try to be patient and Try to progress things slow and steady here. Sag, nice. Well, actually, I've, I believe you're um, Sagittarius. I kind of feel like that's that adventure, right? But I still feel like you're very calm and patient. You might have... Um, and patience. Which one is that? I can't remember. Um, I think that's Virgo. Virgo is someone that's patient. You might have Virgo in your chart. What's your um, series? Your self-love? Oh, wow. Okay. And there's that patience, that temperance card. Adventure, Sagittarius. You're in the flow. You're progressing. You're balanced. Yeah, your temperance is definitely that peace and grounded, maybe even a life purpose here. You have the sun card and you have all three arcanas. This was a huge thing that happened here because you. this was a big move for you to look at your self-love here. And this may have been something that was sudden. It was a sudden change about how you view yourself or how you haven't been putting yourself first, possibly, where you're, or maybe you've always put, because with the sun card, you may have always kind of made sure that you did things for yourself. Like you, how do I put that? You made sure that you took the time out for yourself. You had your own time. Maybe you like to be alone. Maybe you like to be in solitude or some type of in the flow. Maybe you're very creative with something, but this makes you happy. And this may have been something that you hadn't really paid attention to. This is kind of like sudden or a big change. These are all big moves for you to take on your self-love. Maybe you hadn't been doing that or maybe you've always done that. I mean, take it how it resonates. I, I mean, it can be I'm getting kind of
Wow. All major arcana. So. Hmm. But you're very good and diligent and patient and you work on your relationships. And you do your own self-love. This is a change for you, though. With the tower there, that's a big change. But I feel like you've done all the... Uh, you may have been awakened in the last year or so, is kind of what, or the last between the last couple years here, maybe even the last three years. I'm feeling like you, you've done the healing. Nice. I'm liking this for you. What's your Jupiter, your luck? Oh, something beautiful is coming in. Some type of love blessing here. You're going to win at all costs here. You're going to get a victory when it comes to love. And this is your luck. You're going to find the one. Look at that. The Ace of Cups. This has to do with love. This is about a new relationship. This is love and intimacy this is a gift a blessing and then the six of wands this is a victory this is something you've I'm kind of feeling like how do I put that um, you have no doubt in your mind that this person is your person here like it's going to be like I kind of feel like there's no denying that this is what this is about. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. You've got the emperor. Wow. So, wow. So you're either going to fall in love with your emperor and get a victory with your emperor, who is a blessing, or you're the blessing for an emperor. Or you could be this emperor and you're going to get this victory with, you're going to feel really lucky. Like a, you, you're not going to believe your luck. <laughs> okay. And this is going to be somebody, I feel like you're going to, I feel like you're going to be feeling like you've won the jackpot here when it comes to something here. What is the Saturn, your your discipline and your responsibilities here? How do you deal with that? Okay, so sometimes you see things as a as a burden and you have a lot of options here. So discipline and responsibilities. There could be a lot of things that you're doing that I kind of feel like there's so many things that you're doing it sometimes creates a burden for you like you feel like you don't have any time to do much of anything else other than take care of your responsibilities and being disciplined when it comes to this this is your Saturn so what's your Neptune your imagination here Wow okay so you're very intuitive you have the uh, high priestess here and this has to do with your imagination here and judgment wow okay wow okay so this is your pluto your transformation your calling or purpose this is about making good judgment calls this is your choice when it comes to judgment okay and i feel like this is with the high priestess here this is a lot of enlightenment and foresight and mystery to you. People may see you very as mysterious here. They're not really sure how or what you're doing, maybe. You might be on your calling, <clears throat> in your calling here. And you're very intuitive. I feel like this is, your um, intuition is... This is your imagination. So I don't feel like you're imagining that you're intuitive. I feel like you are intuitive. You may have a lot of gifts here. And it may feel like you get a lot of downloads <clears throat> that have to do 
with inventing things or having ideas or having your imagination create things. You're very creative when it comes to using your imagination. And I feel like with the high priestess I mean here is kind of like saying that you are getting these downloads from spirit like you're connecting with your intuition and these downloads that spirit might be giving you <clears throat> you might get a lot of um, sleepless nights here because your imagination you can't seem to turn it off I'm feeling like <laughs> you're always thinking 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 or dreaming having nightmares even and about certain things about maybe some judgments that you've made maybe could be spirit in your dreams showing you things there's some type of downloads here I'm getting that I, hmm. what's your uniqueness your Uranus what's your Uranus here your, how unique you are what makes you so unique oh <laughs> Okay, so you might be somebody that is a homebody or not that you don't go out, but kind of like you stay in a lot. You might be somebody that takes the time to go within. Maybe you meditate or maybe you are, you just don't go out a lot. Maybe you like to be by yourself. But you have a lot of luck here with the Jupiter. This is, um, not Jupiter, but this is the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter, <laughs> is what I want to say. It's about luck. So cycles and ch changing, ch changing cycles. This might be fate or unexpected luck coming in for you. But it might have to do with some type of competition the five of wands kind of feeling like play acting or maybe some just conflicting opinions or too many choices or too many people involved too complex something to do you might be very complex I'm kind of feeling you're very lucky people might feel very lucky to be around you but you're kind of like a somebody that's a maybe an introvert you don't go out much you don't like big crowds I feel like that has to do with this um, intuition here you might I don't know, you know what it is I feeling like it has to do with picking up on people's energies you can't you don't like to be in big crowds I feel like you sometimes it's hard to tell what your energy is compared to what people are around you if you have too many people around you it's you're kind of picking up on everybody's energy and how they're feeling I, it's how, having to do with that you might not get a lot of you might get a little bit of hostility feeling from people maybe that if you're a good looking guy or girl you might pick up on people's jealousy or their envy or that they want to compete with you or that you're a threat of some sort you might you might feel those I mean, that might be why you don't go out, or if you are a homebody, you like to be by yourself. This is you with the sun card here, and this temperance. You like to be on your own. You like having your own time. And this might have to do with your imagination here, and getting downloads from spirit here. What's your palace here? Your relationships. Okay, you take your relationships seriously here. You have integrity and you're very... I kind of feel like you are very smart about it. You might like to be the authoritarian kind of person here. Let's see. For the palace here, the relationships. 
Yeah, you don't like to miss opportunities or feel like you're missing out on something. This might have to do with spirituality here and moving forward. I feel like this might be spiritually driven here. You might have a relationship with spirit here. You may have missed opportunities. You might be very serious about your spirituality or even religion. Something's coming in here though. Quickly. Can I get one more card for the relationships, please? Yeah. You're a hopeless romantic here with the Knight of Cups. So you're very charming and <laughs> creative. You love the idea of love, that heart heartfelt romance, an offer or proposal. You might like to give gifts. You use your imagination though. You might take people on some really imaginative type of dates, like not your ordinary let's go to the bar kind of <laughs> you know what I mean or go for coffee you might you might take them for a picnic uh, somewhere they haven't been before or you're you know what I mean like done something they haven't done before you have this imagination creativity I feel this is beautiful like you're very charming charismatic <laughs> like romance I love it. All right, what's your fortune here, your wealth? What does your wealth look like? All right. We have the King of Cups here. And Seven of Wands. So we have the boundaries here, standing up for yourself here. And this has to do with your wealth. This is the King of Cups. So this is sort of like, hmm, you might be generous when it comes to your wealth here because the King of Cups can be very compassionate, generous, balanced, kind of sensitive and understanding. But I feel like you have boundaries because possibly people have taken advantage of your generosity before. So let's look at your Juno, your influence here. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so hmm. somebody may have influenced you to walk away from somebody here, and now you're feeling like you're out in the cold. I kind of feel like you might not enjoy taking people's advice. It may have gone wrong for you. Can I get one more card for your Juno influence here? Okay, it might have to do with an older woman here that is somebody that you look up to for advice. Maybe you ask this person and they've kind of steered you in the wrong way. You may have felt like you missed out on an opportunity or it may have been had where you lost money because of this advice or this influence from this person. What's your best, uh, your potential here? Oh, you may be looking at family life, happy family, happy home life. Kind of like <clears throat> with the four of wands. I feel like this is kind of that harmony, um, maybe even love in the air. There might be somebody you're interested, but this is to have a happy home, you know, with that peace and rest and relaxation <laughs> and that harmony where there's not a lot of stress, not a lot of conflict, a lot of cooperation, a team player, somebody that isn't going to fight against you but work with you. I kind of feel like this is big for you. This is potential for you. This is something that you could have. I, I really do feel like it has to do with this big love that you're going to get here with your luck. You're going to feel pretty lucky because maybe you're looking at having a family with somebody 
or you have an idea who maybe I'm kind of feeling like a lost love there's somebody that you really love here and it could be this woman here that has steered you wrong and I feel like you're looking at your own self-love here and you're looking at what you truly want in your life and I feel like you're changing the way that you maybe go about getting influenced and I feel like that has something to do with this walking away from something or feeling left out in the cold maybe even losing money this could have been a choice that you maybe listen to somebody that's maybe gave you the wrong advice could have been because they're jealous of the person you want to go towards and have this victory from they may have deliberately steered you wrong or this could be that it was innocently steering you wrong okay but in any case, I feel like you're looking within yourself and what you truly want in your heart versus asking other people what to do in your life. You're taking charge. This is all arcanas, big arcanas here. So this is something that is changing because I feel like this luck is coming in for you. You're going to have this great love. You're going to have potential for a beautiful, happy family here. And let's look at your self node. What was your self past life like? What your self node? Okay, so we have the two of swords. And I'm kind of picking up with this might be having um, the inability to see the truth okay it's like not having all the information and having to try to make a decision on that okay and I feel like sometimes that is a it's an ability it's an inability to see something here and feeling like you're at a crossroads because you're not sure what to do and I feel like in your past life this may have been something that's come forward in this life because of your influences you've looked outside of yourself for advice and it took you in the wrong direction and I feel like this time around this life the same thing happened here but I feel like things are changing here. You're changing things. You're healing yourself. You're looking at what you truly want and who you truly love and what it is that you want for your life. And I feel like once you've realized what that is, all this huge change is going to happen for you to bring in these things for you that you've always wanted, whether you realize it or not. So let's see what's your mid heaven your career for Sagittarius please okay your things may have gone wrong in your career here where maybe you lost a job maybe it was something you really like doing but you're planting new seeds you're looking at what you truly want for your new life I feel like this is part of this big self love and I feel like you're planting new seeds at what you would want for yourself. And you may have been tired of being in this emotional, uh, draining, emotional sorrow, emotional loss feeling where you're, you're going to do something new for yourself, for your future without and it won't you're not going to have anyone else influence you on what you want to do does that make sense one more for mid heaven career what okay this is very mysterious you may not be telling anybody uh, what you're going to do for your career or what you're in doing now it might be a secret maybe it has something to do with being undercover in law enforcement this could be um, maybe you're a private investigator and people can't know who you are 
this could be something to do with I'm feeling like people aren't sure what you do and this might have to do with spirituality because you are connected with spirit here I'm feeling like With the Hierophant, I was feeling like this is something big for you. Like, this is going to be... People aren't going to know what you're doing. Yeah. With the Page of Wands, this is all about taking action, acting on chance, a new opportunity, or a fresh idea. You're pretty enthusiastic about this. This is something positive for you. What is the Lilith, your hidden emotions here? What are your hidden emotions behind this? What's your hidden emotions? Ah, you're taking, you're, you're being strong with the strength here. You might have Leo in your chart or you're just being courageous when it comes to this. You are going to move forward, I feel. You're finding the courage to do something. And this might be your emotions you're feeling within that you've, you've got this. Yeah, you're healing something here. And this may have been where you may not have taken the chances before. And I feel like you're healing whatever emotions that you've hidden inside. And it, it may have, you may have not had the courage or the strength to do what you're going to do now. I feel like this is a, a kind of a new mindset, something you've healed within when it comes to your hidden emotions. This might be how you talk to yourself. Um, you might be in more positive mind frame. You're having the courage and the strength to have that positive outlook. You, Whatever your Lilith is, your hidden emotions are inside. You've changed it. You've healed something here when it comes to your emotions and maybe how you talk to yourself you're talking better to yourself you're not talking or you know how people can be really hard on themselves and i feel like you've let all that go this you've healed that so what do we have yeah new passionate beginning like i said i can't make this shit up you've healed whatever this was you got the courage and you this is something new for you this is a new passionate beginning that you've got for your hidden emotions you this is something you've you're talking to yourself better about yourself things have been healed and i feel like this may have been something that maybe it was shame or some kind of you're being really hard on yourself for some reason, right? And there's usually a reason behind it. So your, your hidden emotions are getting better when it comes to how you are with yourself. What's your Moon J. Coley, please? This is your roots, family, and ancestors and how they want to communicate with you. Wow, okay. So we have the Queen of Wands. This is your ancestors telling you be confident be determined and optimistic that fire energy i feel like sometimes the queen of wands can start her own business she's very determined and i feel like sometimes when you've been through bad situations you take all that anger and upset and you put it towards something you want you can really have that driving power behind you to move forward and be confident in yourself be self-assured let's see this is that action i feel like you're taking action they want you to keep going forward take action on something here what is it they want you to tell oh. <laughs> ancestors are so awesome i love it they want you to take, what is that? Page of Cups. So I kind of feel like this is, because they know you're young at heart. I kind of feel like that is that. I'm getting, <laughs> might even be pregnancy, but 
it has to do with love. Spirit wants you to be de to be de ter bleh, determined and confident in yourself. Be self assured, and have that fiery uh, way about you to go after what you want. This young, be young at heart when it comes to this love. That young at heart, you're the kindness, the happy, you're creative. You almost have that innocence about you. And with the lover's card here, this is about a choice in love. They want you to have a choice in love. Be determined to, and I feel like it's this great love in your life, in your luck that you have here. And with this luck, this person could have a lot of money, I'm feeling like. This could be something to do with wealth. This could be you. But whatever this is, you're going to be celebrating. And I feel like this Ten of Pentacles here could be something that you're earning or whoever it, this lucky person is or if you're the lucky one. There has something to do with the choice and love because this is going to be something maybe you both have a calling to do to create some legacy or abundance here. And it has to do with love and spirit wants you or your ancestors want you to be taking action here, be determined and self-assured in this choice of love. So you're going to know what that means, okay? What's your north node, your current life right now? What's your north node, current life right now? Okay, that one wants to come. <laughs> Moving forward with the chariot. And this is a journey. This You might have to journey somewhere. Maybe you're going somewhere. This is about independence. This is ambition and victory. This is maybe even something high stakes here, a risk. So can I get one more for your call um for your current life here, your north node, please? Ah, you might be watching somebody on maybe social media with the page of swords. You might be wanting to communicate, talk to somebody. This could be this. This person you desire, your wish fulfillment. This may be this person you've been waiting for that you want to give an offer to or this person's bringing you an offer, one of the two. But somebody's watching you, it's coming in for you, or you've been watching somebody. You, you may know who this is. This might even be a new person, so you may not know. Take it how it resonates, but somebody's curious. This could be a, um, a secret admirer even. It could be a stranger coming in for you. This is about communicating with somebody. And I feel like this is gonna come in when you least expect it. <laughs> okay? All right, and let's look at your transformation, your Pluto, and see what comes in. Maybe your calling, your purpose, maybe it could be, let's see, what is it? Wow! King of Wands. Ooh la la, that swaggy swaggy. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that it's you have to be a masculine. This could just be that uh, you're a looker. People see you as very beautiful or attractive, okay? You're very ambitious, respected, and a leader. You might be um, a CEO of your own company. You may be a manager, or you're up in the higher parts of your job. I'm feeling like you rise up to the challenge. You're a risk taker. I feel like this is action, so 
And people are really, you might be somebody very likable. And you're very nice to look at, very yummy. So take it however that resonates, man or woman, it doesn't matter. You're a looker. People see you as very attractive. You've transformed. I feel like you are authority figure now. You are a leader and respected. This is to do with your ambition, this ambitious, risk-taking, visionary type of energy here with the King of Wands. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this reading for you. You've got some things coming in for you that may be a little unexpected. Some things may be that you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about as well. So I hope this helps somebody out there and that it resonates with somebody. So <laughs> I'm going to say this is it for a Sagittarius reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And if you want to become part of the tribe, the divine oracles also if you're interested in donating towards the channel you can put in for the paypal account in the description box below uh, also i don't do personal readings just to put that out there so anybody saying um, that they'll do a reading and they're using my picture just know that that is not me I am not doing any personal readings. I've got enough on my plate already with what I'm doing now. So, all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we will see you next time. All right, later.